Hey everybody, welcome to Song Theory today. Um, this is going to be a unedited, kind of a quick video. I wanted to talk about the death of Juicy World or Juice World. Um, I wanted to talk about the death of Juice World that just happened on the 8th. Um, what's disappointing about it is, you know, as a young black man myself, I just get tired of seeing other young black men dying at a young age, dying younger and younger. Um, but not just that, it's also the fact that he died in a way that uh, obviously the coroner's office is still trying to determine what it was, but so far what we have found out is at the Chicago airport, uh, he was being searched for drugs actually during the time of his seizure, which would kind of suggest uh, perhaps that there might have been some type of drug overdose that he had. Um, some say he might have been trying to hide the drugs within his mouth, trying to get through security. Some say that he probably took some before he got off the plane, knowing that he would be searched. But I think the reason is, I think the reason is stupid to think about, honestly, because you know we had XXX Tentacion, 2018. He got shot and killed in his car during a robbery. It doesn't somehow take away the fact that he's dead. You know, he had artistry. This man had music. People looked up to him. People were encouraged by his his art and his music, and they, they saw him as a role model. So how he died, honestly, I think is important to talk about. However, I don't think it should be the topic at hand. I think one thing we should say is his death was um, sad. Uh, a loss of life is always going to be disappointing, especially when, it's young, when they're young and successful like he was. Um, once again, I don't want to make the drug thing a subject of this video because, once again, they, they still haven't determined how Juice World died yet. They have not determined that. However, Joyner Lucas decided to chime in on this, and he was basically saying that drug culture and hip-hop is killing uh, rappers at a younger and younger age, which he's not incorrect. There are plenty of rappers who have died recently of drug overdoses, um, and self-medication um it's sad because you know you you have people uh at this point rappers who are going through the motions of going in and out of the studio in and out of the tours in and out of of public eye and some of them don't catch a break some of them are being thrusted into fame so quickly that they don't have a chance to even reclaim who they are sometimes they get whiplash because they're going so fast through this life they go from being a kid in their home, literally working on a song, to all of a sudden being thrusted into fame overnight. I don't mind the state of hip-hop currently. I think the state of hip-hop is evolving, it's growing, ever-changing. And we can't act like the, the way these younger artists are dying are any different than how the 90s and the early 2000s artists were dying. Let's think about what happened uh, during the West Coast, East Coast, uh, beef. Think about that. Think about how Tupac and Biggie and other artists, prolific artists, during that time in the 90s and 2000s were dying left and right because of shootings. They were killing each other. Hip-hop has always evolved and it, it will continue to evolve and what I believe is Juice World is just, he is an unfortunate byproduct of a very toxic, toxic um, music industry. Um, I think it's important to point out that people are going to look at this when the report does come out, when it is said what actually happened, and they're going to they're going to use it as ammunition. They're going to use it against hip hop. They're going to use it against the format and the genre itself. Um, but this video stands to tell people that it. I'm making this video to say that we should not have our primary focus on how this young man died. Um, I do believe that hip-hop needs to stop promoting drug use. I do believe hip-hop needs to stop promoting violence. I do believe that. Um, there's one thing to depict it in a way that explains how you, as the artist, might have experienced the violence or experienced the drugs. But you have people like Lil Pump who promotes being a drug addict. You have these artists and these hip-hop artists who promote holding guns to the camera screen and drinking lean on the video. 
it happens time and time again. And once again, I do believe that hip hop evolves, but I think that is something we need to evolve out of eventually. Not the promotion of drugs, not the promotion of murder, not the promotion of violence or guns, but I believe once again, if you're going to depict it in your music, you need to be responsible. Juice World did talk about his pill usage. He talked about his drug usage. He talked about it candidly. He, t he told people that that's what he did. He told people. So we're not shocked if it comes out that that is the case. But once again, we shouldn't focus on that. Just like XXX and Tasha, we should not focus on the fact that he was shot in the chest and he was in the middle of a robbery. That, that's, that's not the focus. The focus is that this young artist died. He died. He's gone. His family is mourning his death right now. Juice World had a girlfriend. She's mourning his death. So is his crew and his family and the people around him. Now, once again, his personal life, what he did behind closed doors, I know nothing about. And I can't judge that. I can't touch on that. What I can say, though, is that hip hop as a whole needs to change. It needs to be different. It needs to be that these younger artists are able to see their lives go and, and to the point where they get to their 40s and 50s and they're able to see the result and reap the harvest of their hard work. And it's sad that these kids don't even have kids of their own in most cases when they die. There's no lineage. It's just over. And the worst part of it all is that the record company uses their music, even after they're dead, to get a quick buck. We see that with X. They have used his entire catalog of music that he did not release yet, putting people on the track that had nothing to do with X that have nothing to do with his music or his genre. But they put him in, they shoehorn these artists in to make an extra dollar. And I'm just hoping that that doesn't happen with Juice World. And it's sad too, I think, one part that we forget to mention is Juice World said this himself. He said, in the subject of the, the 27 curse, the age 27, how Kurt Cobain and other artists die at 27, he said in an interview, uh, I don't know exactly where this interview came from, but I, I know for a fact that this is something he said. He said, 27? We can't even get past 21. That was a quote that came from his mouth. And he died at the age of 21. So, words matter. Words do matter. And I think that people who are putting these words on hip-hop songs and putting this energy out on their music, they need to stop. I do think there is a point in hip-hop that we need to look at the fact that every word that we speak, it, people don't think about this, but every word that you speak has letters. And those letters, when you recite them, it's called spelling. Spells. Words are spells. Words that you use can either kill or birth. They're powerful. Your tongue is powerful. I spoke about this in my XXX Tentacion video. I told people that the words that he spoke manifested themselves. The words that these people speak manifest. And he said, we can't even get past the age of 21. X died 2018 at the age of, what, I think 19, 20. And he died shortly after his 21st birthday. So... It's a shame. I think that once again, we need to start focusing on how he died and start focusing on how we can avoid more people like him dying like this. These artists, these rappers need help. They're famous, but with what guidance? What counselors are around them? What people are around them to tell them, no, don't take that drug. No, don't do that. No, don't go there. How many people are there for that? In my opinion, and for what I've seen, not enough. So, I thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that as the information becomes more clear to everyone what actually happened, I hope that the focus is not on the manner in which he died, but the manner in which he lived. And I hope that people think about the music that inspired them, think about the way that he was able to inspire others. Um, I decided not to make a, a song theory about any of his music or anything like that. I, I just don't think it's necessary. Um, it's at the point now where, you know, these artists are going so quickly that it's just, it doesn't feel right to do that. So, I thank you all so much for watching this video. Please make sure you subscribe, like, share. There's more content on the way. I'm in college. I'm studying. It's finals week, so I ain't got a lot of content coming up. Probably not till next year. That's why this is unedited. But hey, you guys keep subscribing. You keep sticking around. 
I appreciate it. Hope you guys have a good day and a better tomorrow. God bless. I'll see you all later.